What's going on, everybody? My name is Cole. Hi, Grant. Today I'll be comparing the FMS FCX24 to the Axial SCX24. Let's get into it. So these trucks are both classified as a 24 scale truck. The FMS is more like an 18th scale, but they are fairly similar sized, but that's about where the differences stop. These are completely different chassis. This one was originally the SCX24 Jeep Wrangler. I just want to start off by saying these are not in their stock form. Grant's has about $100 in upgrades. It has new uh, wheels and tires. It's got some aluminum steering links, a brass diff cover, as well as a new motor, and it has this body. And then mine just has new wheels and tires, and then I made this bed for it, and then um, metal drive shafts. But this one has about $100, mine has about $50. Personally, I really like the power wagon design that comes stock on the uh, FMS. And one cool thing about the hard body on the FMS is that it's painted blue from the outside, but there's actually red underneath that. So when you get scratches and stuff, it scrapes off and then you get like little rusty spots, which is kind of kind of a neat little feature. The Axial definitely has um, quite a few more um, body options from the factory, as well as a lot of um, aftermarket upgrades. But the FMS is starting to catch up to the Axial in the terms of aftermarket upgrades. The FMS does come with windshield wipers um, and a couple other details. It also does have working lights. This one had working lights in the bumper, but I took the bumper off. All right, now we'll take a look under the hood. So we just have to undo our toe strap from the back. The axial is really easy to get underneath. We just have Velcro and then it hinges back. So you can get under there really easily. The FMS on the other hand, you have to kind of flip it over and then there's these little like pinch tabs in there. While they may look similar from the exterior, once you get under the hood, they are a quite a bit different. So the FMS has a two-speed transmission, so that gives you a high and low gear, so it has an extra shift servo right there. The electronics are obviously different. This one has a much bigger motor than the SCX24 does. Um, this one does have a plastic chassis, while this one has metal. This one has portal axles, um, so that gives you a lot more clearance right there. Doesn't let your diff pumpkin hang up. As you can see, that one has straight axles, so you have a little less clearance right there. This one actually has like an actual differential, whereas this one uses a worm gear system. Both have on-axle servo mounts, just so you can see it's attached right to the axle. Same with this one. The servo that comes stock on the FMS is also quite a bit more powerful than the one that comes on the SCX. Plastic links on the bottom, plastic links on this one as well. They're just nice little simple trucks. So we're gonna do a quick weight comparison. Here's the FMS. Weighs uh, 438 grams. Now for the SCX24, 240 grams. So mine is about 200 grams more, so it's a significant amount of weight. And I think a lot of it is in this body here. This is the transmitter for the SCX24. Um, it's a pretty good fit, easy to drive one-handed. Uh, it's got a nice solid base on there so you can set it up flat and then this little lid flips up and you have some some basic controls under here your steering trim um your throttle rates and all that stuff and then the remote for the fms is much more compact so it's nice for uh, traveling you can just toss it in a bag and it's really compact you got your light control right there so you can turn your lights on and off from the remote this is the two speed transmission button so you can flick it into high just like that it's really easy to drive one-handed Got all your steering and throttle rate controls, and then your power button. The FMS comes with a 380 milliamp hour two cell lipo. And then the Axial SCX24 comes with a 350 milliamp hour that is also a 2S. They also each come with a basic USB charger. Power switch for the FMS is located right on the front here. You just click it, and she's ready to go. Power switch on the Axial is on the side. Slide it over, she's good to go. All right, so we got like a 47 degree angle here. It's not the most traction piece of wood, but this thing does it. Here comes the grants. Oh yeah, all right, we can move it steeper. Now at a 53 degree angle, quite a bit steeper. Oh, rolls mine. All right, here comes grants. Oh, it didn't roll like mine. So since mine has this hard body on the front, it adds a lot of weight up high, so it does make it difficult to do some steep climbs. All right, we now have like a 45 degree angle, 
side hill test here. We'll see if it'll do it. Oh, it does. Oh, almost did it. I hit it with a little more speed. It'll do it if you're going a little faster. Yeah, Grant's definitely does it a little bit better. On your mark, get set, go. Bait him. So it's been kind of drizzling out most of the day and it's still drizzling a little bit right now. So I'll make everything nice and slippery and it'll really put these cars to the test. As you can see right off the bat, the FMS has way more low end control. Just right out of the box. The nice thing about these uh, 24 scales, you can just crawl around in your landscaping. Makes nice obstacles. So all in all, these trucks are pretty similar in performance. The FMS is noticeably smoother on the throttle and much easier to control, but the axial does tend to make it up some slightly steeper climbs and it's a little bit better at side hilling. Personally, I think the FMS looks a lot better and more detailed out of the box, um, but axial does offer a lot more different body styles, while FMS only offers the power wagon. But yeah, those are just my thoughts on this video. If you have any more questions or um, just anything you want to talk about, Leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to respond to you. Thanks for watching and catch you next one.